Welcome back to RG Geek. Last night I discovered a different way of playing some games on my RG 350M. Makes me very happy. They are vertical arcade games. You might also think of them as portrait mode or I've also seen Tate or Tate, which is short for Tateru, means to stand in Japanese. So anyway, I'm going to show you how I play these games on my device and you can, um, and I have a link below which may work. I couldn't actually find the file I have myself, but I think there's probably more updates to it now. All right, so let's get started. I see it went to sleep. So there we go. All right, so I have this version of File Burn Alpha, Final Burn Alpha, that um, plays arcade games in vertical mode. So let's fire this up. And I've got, I couldn't find Ms. Pac-Man in my regular ROMs directory for Final Burn Alpha, so I'm using this one that combined with Glass Galaga. Anyway, you can see that. It's coming up in beautiful portrait mode. And now you see the typical screen to wait, enter your quarter, a track mode. And now I'm going to enter a couple quarters and start. And it's just amazing playing Ms. Pac-Man with a, something like a joystick on the go. It just, it just blows me away. I can just do this. I remember having to walk down the street to a nearby bowling alley and spending my some of my childhood there playing this game. So anyway, you can see this works brilliantly and it automatically knows that the joypad is in the right direction for these games. All right, let's try another one I like. So I gotta pick this up, go to the main menu, exit out. Now, another one of my favorites. Actually, this is my mom's favorite, from what I know from video games. It's Frogger. And it just blows my mind I can just take this anywhere I want. And I've got Frogger, the original arcade Frogger with me on the right screen. Beautiful color. All right, so and I'll have a list below of games I recommend playing with this. A few I tried, and there we go, I died. All right, we go to another game, one that's very popular. And this time I'm gonna show the buttons. Let's get it on like Donkey Kong. And I personally like to set the key config to have the fire here on my X, because it's the easiest to reach. Then I just swap it, because there's only one button in Donkey Kong. So, continue. I remember playing this in arcades too. Mostly one amusement park I used to go to. And here I go, I got Donkey Kong on the go. Yeah, bad timing. Okay.
All right, I'm gonna go a couple more games here. Got a Dig Dug. The fond memories playing this as well. And it's just amazing, this just all works. And I'll go back again and swap those buttons out like I like it. Hopefully there's a new version out that saves these settings. Oh, that actually saved it. I think when I quit it, it um, when I leave the whole emulator, it changes the settings back though. Sort of coin start. Let's see if we can crush this guy or this one. Uh, timing's just off. Got the other guy though. There's one more genre I know a lot of you like. I'll show you that quick. <clears throat> Namely, shooters are amazing for this format. So I'm gonna plug in here. Oops, I want the revision C. And this time this has two buttons. So I'm gonna go in and config the X to be fire one and fire two is A. Oh, it's already set. Perfect. Let's, let's shoot some planes. So I put a link, well not a link, but a Hmm, seems like the fire, oh, there is a fire button here. Okay, there it goes. I don't know why it wasn't working earlier. So, I'll put a link to a place where I think is the latest version of the file I have, but I wanted to make a video instead of to just show it off and you guys can hack away. And if you find it works really well for you, then please leave a comment letting us know. And if you find an alternative one, you can uh, let us know about that too. This is really cool. I just think this is fantastic. Just get lost playing these games. Also, if anyone asks you why you want to write analog stick, this is the perfect usage. And I'd like to make a request to developers out there. Also, I'm thinking about getting into the development of this thing too. But this would be amazing to play Wonder Swan games. And there's another platform I was thinking about. Oh, Vectrex. Yeah, Vectrex would also be amazing in this format. All right. So thanks for watching. If you like this, please like it. If you want to see more videos like this, how to make the most of your RG350M, then subscribe. I have more ideas coming. All right. So I guess this is it for me. See you on the flip side.